In this tutorial, we are attempting to build a full mobile application from a single prompt. One of the most exciting parts about generative AI is the way that it fundamentally expands who can create and what they can create. And this tutorial should give you a great example of that. We're working with an application called Marbleism, which launched out of the winter 2024 batch of Y Combinator. The promise of Marbleism is that with a single prompt, you can get the base level code for a fully functioning app. I've just signed up. I'm using their free version. They're on the type of model where they have a specific number of credits, and you're basically going to be able to do one or two projects with those credits before you get hit up to pay. And what we're going to try to do is build an application for parents in a specific locality to talk about their kids, schools, events, etc. We'll call it Parent Near. It's a social network. You can see there's a set of different options, SaaS, AI app, marketplace, social network, internal tool, and the project description is a local discussion app for parents. They have a prompt best practice guide, and basically it's about how to give a more full description of the application you're trying to build. So for example, a local discussion app for parents probably wouldn't be exactly at the level of prompt we need to get a good result. Their best practices include describing all the features of the app, listing the pages you envision for the app, describing the different properties of each object and their relationship to each other, and a few other things. A local discussion board application for parents. Users can sign up, join a parent community, post messages to a shared message board for the community, respond to others' messages on the shared message board for the community, invite other users to join, create new parent communities. The pages for the application will include sign up profile and profile editing page where the user can say who they are, where they are, and any other key information. A shared message board for each parent community. A directory of parent communities that can be joined. And let's see where we get with this. Let's give it a dark theme, and let's see what happens next. So after about a minute, we get this. AI feedback, add functionality for user data entry, data storage, and data display for signup, profile editing, message posting, and community directory, ensure all user interactions like posting messages and creating communities are stored and displayed from a database, remove or modify any requirement that suggests integration with external APIs or software not listed in Marbleism's capabilities, unless it's ChatGPT and OpenAI, confirm there's no need for payment systems or streaming services within the application as these are not supported by Marbleism. So basically, these are things that the AI is adding to my prompt to make sure it's in good stead. It is now building out the database. It says this will take three minutes. I'll give you an update around how long it actually took when we finished. It actually only took about a minute, minute and a half. So it says six tables have been generated. You can see under each what's required. And we are going to mock the non-technical user of this application that just hopes it mostly gets it right. So instead of changing anything, we will just click next. Now it's generating pages. 12 pages have been generated, a login, Description page where users can log in, a registration page, a reset password page, a notification page, a profile page, a find communities page, a page that includes specific detailed information about specific parent communities, an ability to create a new parent community, the ability to post a message, to participate in a message thread, the ability to invite other users, and the ability to join a community. Sounds right. And so now it's generating the actual code base for this application. Marbleism says that this part could take up to five minutes. I'll be back with an update around how long it actually took when it's done. All right, and we're back and it did take exactly five minutes. So what we're left with is an app preview, an online code editor, and the ability to invite our GitHub username to give it access to the code base. Let's do the app preview. Once again, up to five minutes. So this one took a little less time, more like three or four minutes, but let's go check out the app. Here we've got our profile page, our notifications. We can go to the find community page and it's actually preceded it with a set of communities. For example, this one for families who are passionate about living a green eco-friendly lifestyle. And it even created a sample post. Just move to the neighborhood and would love to meet other parents with young kids. Anyone interested in a play date? Then there's a place to add a comment to the thread. Then there's a community creator. And there you have it. Now, of course, if you were actually using this to build something that you'd want to get out into the world, it's highly likely that you'd want to make some customizations and changes. But now you or whatever engineers you're working with are spending their time on those detail questions, not getting the basic infrastructure up and running. 
I think the net result of tools like this is that people are going to think about applications, web applications, mobile applications, as tools for actually solving their problems. In the same way that right now they might think about how using a slide deck or a research engine could be a way to do something that they need, building an actual tool is no longer off the table. Pretty exciting stuff. I'm sure we will be testing Marbleism out more. For now, though, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Back with another one soon.